Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Gapminder World video number 5. Now this week we're going to take a look at everything to do with maths. We're going to see which countries around the world do the best at maths and then we're going to try and tackle the controversial age-old question as to whether girls are better at maths than boys. So, first graph that I've got lined up is I've got the classic income per person along the x-axis and then I've got a measure of maths achievement on the y-axis and that's maths scores in grade 8. So that is 13 and 14 year olds. So whilst I fire this graph up, just think, what's that graph going to look like? Is there going to be a positive correlation between income and math score, a negative correlation or no correlation? And which countries do you reckon are doing the best? Only one way to find out. Here we go. So income per person along the uh, x-axis and maths achievement in the eighth grade along the y-axis. And as you can see, a pretty strong positive correlation, certainly a strong positive trend there. And look which countries are at the top. If I just highlight the region, it's possibly no surprise that it tends to be the Asian countries. So let's have a look at some of these names. South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, Hong Kong and Singapore. And that's perhaps no surprise why we're currently trying to model our new national maths curriculum on the way that these Asian countries run things. And um, let's just see if this has always been the case. Let's just drop things back 10 years or so. And there's not a great deal of data for, uh, for when we go kind of 15 years back in the past, but you can see it's still these same countries dominating. And as I hit play, yeah, no one's getting really close to them. And there's some quite interesting cases here. If I just highlight, um, if I just go back to the start, if I just highlight the case of Colombia, and I also highlight the case of Bulgaria, because it's not always the case that countries stay in their same relative positions. Some countries, these children seem to get better at maths, some countries seem to get worse at maths. And let's just have a look at these two countries. As we go forward, you can see Colombia is shooting up there, quite a significant increase, whereas Bulgaria is taking a dip, and we can investigate the reasons for that. But what I want to do now is I want to see whether this Gapminder world can help us investigate whether girls are better at maths than boys. And quite a nice way to do this is to look at the girl-boy ratio within these countries. So if I just change this variable along here, and I go to population, and I go to sex ratio, and I'll go, seen as we're measuring kind of grade 8, so we'll, we'll, we'll try the 0 to 14 year group. And this sex ratio, what it does is it divides the number of boys by the number of girls, and I think works it out as a percentage, so all the numbers are kind of around about 100. So let's have a think, will it be the case that the societies with more boys than girls do better at maths, or will it be worse, or will there be no real relationship at all? Let's have a look, so give that a click. It'll take it a second to work out. Now, it's not the clearest thing from that graph. Is there a positive trend? Is there a negative? Um, and it's because this scale on the bottom is a little bit dodgy. The vast majority of the data tends to be between, between 100 and 110. Interestingly, that suggests that there's none of these countries where there are more girls than boys. And you have an outlier over here, Armenia, where their uh, ratio is 114. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And this is a really useful tool you can have if you just... Uh, click on the bottom right and you click this zoom button then what you do is you just drag around the area of the graph that you're interested in so I'm just going to drag around there that looks quite good and just have a look let go and there you go you can see that it's certainly not the strongest correlation in the world but there does seem to be a slight positive relationship between the sex ratio and it seems to be that the societies with the greater number of males in them such as South Korea tend to do better at maths than countries with a lower portion of males. Does that mean girl, boys are better than girls at maths? I'll leave you and your students to argue that one out. Anyway, hope that was useful, and I will be back with another Gapminder World video next week. Take care. Bye-bye.